with the increasing polarization in this country, it becomes even more difficult for one side to communicate with another. And Frank Luntz does this on a regular basis. So I thought it'd be worthwhile to hear what he has to say on that subject. I come from, and I also thought it'd be interesting, the Democratic Convention, to give you a, a slightly more conservative perspective as someone who for many years worked in the Republican Party, gave it up back in 2000. Uh, I've known Robin Bronk for a few years, and I've always been impressed with the intensity and the passion of what you all do and how you do it. I'm not always impressed of the language that you use and how you present it. I know that you care deeply. But in the end, is it the caring that matters or the results that matter? The challenge for you guys is not to communicate the way that you feel. The challenge is to be successful. If you want the legislation to get the arts back, then you put it in such a way, not just for the Democrats, there has to be a way to communicate with the Republicans. The exact word choice that you make does determine how people hear you. I'm totally confused right now. I feel like suddenly you're here lecturing us about our use of language, but I don't understand that. That's not why I was sat down here. I thought we were sat down here to have a, a specific dialogue about what it is that we all feel in terms of our use of celebrity or therefore celebrity in terms of helping someone. And suddenly I feel like I'm being lectured by a group of people. One of the key things that we support is the Creative Coalition's the First Amendment, which is freedom of speech, which means that you can say what you want to say, however passionately you may want to say it. So, Well, I would like to hear what he has to say, though. We can discard it. I don't think we need to be defensive about the way we express ourselves. I'm interested. If he has any information for us, I'd like to get it. And if not, we'll jump it and go on to the next one. It seems to me it's about semantics. If I'm not uh, using the correct language to those people, what's the point? If well, it's not the correct language. There's well, a difference between a asking for... To if you're right going to talk... For me, personally, I don't talk about impeachment. I talk about accountability, because impeachment is a word that sounds like you've got sour grapes and you just are being vindictive. Accountability is something that's active. It's like the, you know, right to life. What great twist of that thing, you know, contras as opposed to freedom fighters. It's all in the way that it's phrased. I also have to say that I agree with you on something, Frank, which is, is that communicating how we feel is not necessarily the most effective thing. And First I of all, it's astonishing, it's brilliant, and it's incredibly effective. And obviously, when I sat down with him and our group, and he began and began, in a sense, saying that we were, in a way, hurting the Obama campaign or hurting any sort of cause that our group was presenting because of the fact that we were somewhat or well-known or um, in some cases very well-known, that that was antithetical to the possibility of, of what anyone else could do. To me, I was, I, I was, I was disturbed. <laughs> so much of what they did here is what I was actually saying to them, don't do. They had a chance to pull out of me so much stuff that I tend to give to people that they may not like. And that's what I was here to do. That's what I was hoping this conversation would be. Instead, they attacked. But don't you think that there's something inherent in that? Because you said they attacked. Three people attacked. The rest of us were waiting our turn. But they went first. And, that's the, but that, and they went first. And that's something that we have to deal with, is and the that, fact that one of us says one thing, and it gets ascribed to every single one of us. That's on camera. And the loudest people tend to get heard the but most. you know, to feel like well, the way you people do it and the way they hear you, there was maybe a little bit of that. However, the importance I think the great importance of what you were trying to give us to improve our communication skills to get what we want. We're actors. Yep. We want to know how to do the scene right to get what we want. Right. I mean, if I had those words, I would have agreed to go to the Republican convention next week. I was so afraid that I would do exactly what you're saying happens that I declined. I was afraid to go because I don't, I don't have the skill to communicate with people who have hurt my feelings so deeply.